हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फॉरेन की एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फॉरेन की इंटीग्रिटी कंस्टेंट व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वन टू टू क्वेश्चंस मे बी आस्क्ड फ्रॉम द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फॉरेन की इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम रिलेटेड टू सीएसआईटी लाइक प्लेसमेंट स्पेसिफिक गेट नेट इसरो बाक आरआरबी जेई एलआईसीएओ आईटी ऑफिसर्स और एनी एग्जाम in which dbms is a subject then this lecture will help you a lot right so before starting our lecture let's please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you can get important lectures in future also and in during the lecture if you have any kind of uh, doubts or query you can comment us and we will solve that right so let's start the concept of foreign key right all the keys like candidate keys primary keys alternative keys we have discussed earlier in lecture 1 to 6 so if you want to learn that also you can watch that lectures right the foreign key is basically a field in a table which identifies the row of second table uniquely we will see this with the example also as we are discussing in the earlier lectures so that you can understand the concept well basically the definition part says that foreign key is a field in a table suppose this is a table and this is one of the more one again uh, next table then it is a field in a table which identifies the row of second table uniquely suppose here fields are there so this key suppose this is the foreign key then this will identify each and every data of this table so this is table 1 this is table 2 then it is a field in a table right so it is a field in table which will identify the row uniquely in the next table right how it will find we will see that now foreign key is also known as referential key because it is referencing that is why it is also called as referential key foreign key is basically defined in other table right so foreign key is basically defined in other table like that which refers to the primary key of the first table means it will refer to the primary key of first table suppose this is first table this is second table then foreign key is defined in the second table which will refer to the primary key of the first table it will be the primary key of the first table primary key means it is the minimal key which is identifying each and every row of the table differentiating it right uniquely and it is used foreign key is used to relate the data in tables suppose tables are there then how you will relate the data among tables so to relate the data among tables between tables you should use we should have to use foreign key concept right now let's see with the example suppose it is a student table and it is enrolled table now here student id is given to us student name student's age and here in second table student id is here course id is here and fee structure is here now as this is we are taking this as a foreign key as it is table 2 suppose it is table 1 this is table 2 so this foreign key will identify each and every row of this table uniquely right so this is the foreign key it will refer to the primary key of this table so student id is the primary key because on the basis of student id you can identify uniquely the each row that is why it is primary key and here we are taking this id as a foreign key now suppose i uh, i am going to this s1 then this student 1 will refer referenced here and this student's name is generated or derived as x whose age is 25 whose course id is c1 and fee structure is 1000 now if you will see one more student is there with the same name because this student is all all uh, means this student enrolled in course 1 and this student is enrolled in course 2 uh, right so this also generate this is also reference here and this will also generate this row means this rows data will be generated from that now what you are getting that we can reference one or more rows from referencing to reference right means here multiple data of any rows should be here and on the basis of that foreign key we can identify the unique row of that table means first table so 
to relate this kind of data the mechanism which we are using is the concept of 4n key right now this is referenced relation and this is a referencing relation because it is referencing to this table that is why it is called as reference relation and this is referencing relation right so i hope up to this you are clear with that now let's see some more important concept which is very important which is foreign key integrity constant what rules you should keep in mind to interchange the data or manipulate data right so suppose we are seeing for this table currently we are seeing first for this table means for student table insertion so suppose if you want to insert here any data suppose you are want to insert here s3's data which whose name is z and whose age is 21 then it will create no violation right because violation will be created let's see when violation will be created right so if you will add data here like s3 then no violation occurs here now suppose delete we are seeing only in this table suppose you want to delete this row so if you will delete this row then it will create violation why it will create violation because here s1 exist here s1 is exist when this s1 refers here right when this s1's data will be referenced here in this table in this table no s1 exist that is why it will create violation so on deletion no access violation may be created means we are deleted there so now we can't access this data in this table so on deletion no access is there now on deletion cascade means if we want to delete that means we are deleting parent data so we must have to delete its child data also and on delete set null means suppose we want to delete that then we have to set null here so that it can understand that the data is deleted from table 1 so this are the deletion violations now let's come again to the insertion now if you will insert one more data s4 and suppose it is w and age is 22 then it will create no violation because on inserting that there isn't any kind of violation right so insertion will create no violation in student table means in reference relation now see the updation it may also cause violation how suppose <coughs> excuse me on update no action suppose we have updated data here and we did, didn't take any in not uh, action suppose we have changed student id like that so it might create a violation at that time on update ex, uh, cascade suppose uh, uh, we have updated data here and it doesn't know that right so it might create violation there and on update set null suppose we are updating here any we have updated here whatever right so on updating we have to set null if data is not available like that so it may cause violation right now let's see what are the foreign key integrity constant in enroll table enroll table means in this table suppose insertion so insertion may cause violation why it may cause violation because if you are adding s one's more data so we are adding data without permission of that because this data may be exist may not be exist but why we are adding that this is called this may cause violation because we are unnecessarily can also add na so this might not be guarantee the const integrity constant that is why it may cause violation and on deletion suppose i have deleted that data i have deleted s1 data so it may not cause any violation because if i delete this data then what will happen i will not refer i can't uh, go to s1 but okay na we are not changing the data itself so uh, uh, if i delete this data then it will cause no violation and then updation so if there is any updation then it may cause violation right so i hope this is clear to you further if you have any kind of doubts or query you can comment us and we will try to solve that thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat